Hello, my name is Dr. Ollie Hart and I'm a GP that specialises in helping people manage living with persistent pain. I think the reason why I particularly specialised in this area was because as a GP, I see so many people living with persistent pain. So if you're watching this clip, looking at this website, and you are living with persistent pain, one of the first things you need to know is that you're definitely not alone. In fact, we estimate around one in seven people in the UK live with persistent pain all the time, every day. And probably around about one in 15 people have such severe pain that it severely impacts on their life all the time. I suspect as well that one of the reasons you're looking at this site is because you're not really sure that you're managing your condition as well as you can. You may even feel that people don't believe you or that uh, people think you're making it up and it's all in your head. In fact, I suspect that one of the reasons that you are um, particularly concerned is because uh, you've spent a lot of your time leading your life trying to justify to people why you can't do things uh, and trying to make up for the fact you can't do the things you feel you should expect of yourself. So one of the main things this site does is helps you to understand what persistent pain is. It's something that's often really poorly explained by GPs. And in fact, as a medical profession, we're only really catching up with the extent of the problem of people living with persistent pain. You may already have gathered from things that you've read or things that you've seen on this site that persistent pain, or what we sometimes call chronic pain or long-term pain, is quite different from the short-term quick bouts of pain that we're all used to experiencing as we grow up. Unfortunately, it's a condition that once it's embedded in your body is often extremely difficult to cure. Now, I know that can sometimes be a, a really hard message to take. It's certainly sometimes a really hard message as a GP to deliver to people. Increasingly, we're recognizing that uh, persistent pain is a disease in its own right. We always used to think of pain of just being a symptom, being a part of other diseases, but actually we know now from uh, quite a lot of studies through uh, imaging of the brain, through um, uh, clever neurological experiments, that there are changes that happen in the pain system that mean that persistent pain is actually conditioned in its own right. And if we think of it as a condition in its own right, we can start to compare it to other long-term conditions. Let's take the example of diabetes, for instance, a condition that perhaps people are much more familiar with. There's a lot of parallels between the long-term condition of diabetes and the long-term condition of persistent pain. In diabetes, when people are first diagnosed, they're often uh, out of control in their, um, how they're managing their diabetes. In fact, often their blood sugars, which is the thing that goes wrong in diabetes, are sky high and all over the place. And what we do when we diagnose diabetes is we teach people how to eat well and how to lead their lifestyle well to help control the sugars a lot better. And with time, we find that people get to a point where their diabetes is really well controlled. Partly that might be due to using medicines, but most of it is to do with changes in the lifestyle. There's a very similar parallel with dealing with persistent pain and that often when we first see people, they're first diagnosed, people are out of control, their pain is out of control and it completely overrides everything in life. Just like with diabetes, if we help people to understand it and to uh, adjust the things in their life that they need to do to bring things back into control, we can help people bring their pain to a much more manageable level. We do, like diabetes, sometimes use medicines to help with this. It's certainly not the whole answer. And um, learning skills and learning ways to manage your condition is most commonly the way that people get to a point where they can lead the maximum quality life they can. So I'd encourage you to have a good look around this website, submerge yourself in the information, discuss it with other people, try some of the tools you see, look at the pain toolkit, look around the pain cycle, and try to work out things that fit for you and things that you can incorporate into your life to help you lead a better quality life.